Okay, today we're looking at a very nice, tidy 1956 Daimler 104. And apparently the 104, I believe, relates to the number of miles per hour you can expect to get. And 104 miles per hour in 1956 would have been quite something, I imagine. So I'm just going to go slowly round. A double chrome bumpers on it. Don't know what this will show up. Uh, it doesn't look too bad on the video. You can see a little line there just to the right of the um, indicator. And it looks like a little line of rust or something just here. Not too sure exactly. Looking under the motor, this is on the left hand side. To the radiator cap off, the car has not been anywhere, it's cold. Motor's all good, no funny colours there. So look at the oil while well, I remember. Nice long stick as you'd expect. Oil, it's oily. <laughs> Let's drop that back into the hole if I can find it. There we go. Everything's looking nice and clean and tidy in here. It's coming up towards the windscreen. Now the rubber's not bad along the windscreen. Quite hard, but uh, I imagine it's probably reasonably good. Roof looks good. A couple of marks on it, but I think that's just Oh no, a couple of marks there. Funny place to get stone chips or something. Front left passenger door. Lovely chrome around the windows. A little bit of cracking in there. Rubbers along here. Gets better through here. You can see the rubber from the Door shut there. And this door's not quite closed properly, so I'll just close it before we open it. There we go. So a good fit down through here. A little bit of old rust in through here. And on the start of the rear door. Lovely door handles on these. Very decorative. So just going round the rubber here. It's all good. Along the sill. Carpets and floor and that are all good. Some cracking of the wood around the glove box here. Won't go too much into the inside. Coming along the door. Wood's good. Door card's good. Whoops, my trousers are falling down. Nobody needs to know that bit though. And uh, not too sure what this bit is. Perhaps I should have looked first. Looks like a pocket, but I won't pull on it just yet. I'll get my mate to try one on the other side and we'll have a look at that. I do notice there's a bit of a gap here going down into the um, door. But there is rubber in the gap. And it seems to be normal because I notice it's the same in the back. 
close the door. Now I do know there is a little bit of a, a gap here at the front of the front doors, but I've already checked and had a look at some videos, a little bit of a paint run here. And uh, apparently that's quite normal for these cars. It enables them to open up into the guard without doing any damage. Coming across here. Rear door now. Window rubber on this one looks quite good. Just going into the little window that opens on the side here. Door fits all good. A little bit more old rust here. Not sure if it's bog or what, but very minor. So this is left rear door. Once again, we've got good door cards, good wood. Once again, we have the, the gap and uh, you can poke your fingers down into there. Uh, I'm not quite sure. It doesn't feel quite as spongy as the other one, but there's definitely something in there. A lovely, lovely picnic table. It's important if you have a stylish car like this that you'll be able to enjoy it to its fullest. Seats are lovely old leather. Oh, that snapped into place quickly. A little bit of damage on the back of that one, but very minor. Little cap into the wheel. Coming around the back here. Definitely shows, uh, you know, signs of its age, but nothing major. Boot rubber. Looking good. A little bit, uh, oh yeah, a little bit less so here, perhaps. Scooting up around. That's the actual boot lid. This is where it gets opened, of course. Lights for the number plate. Nice lights on the back. I just love this big D on the bumpers. This has a touch of real class. A little bit of marking on the overriders. Nothing major. And the tail lights, all good. Exhaust looking not too bad. That's going around the bottom. We're now on the driver's side of the car. Old um, bog repair in here, in round here. I suppose it depends on the light, how much of it I'm actually catching. So this is the right hand side of the rear view window. So you can see the rubbers and stuff. Just coming along. Oh Kevin, do you just want to try opening one of these um, things on the front door? That thing there. Have a look at the rear while my mate tries to open the thing on the front door. I'm thinking it's a pocket of some sort and it probably just pulls it down. It's on all the doors. Once again, wood is good. Door card is good. Carpets are good. Lovely old leather seats here. Just love it. Grab handles. 
both sides of the car. There is some uh, orange peel in the paintwork and there's a little something just going on here. You can see the orange peel in the paint here possibly. You can definitely feel the roughness going down through here. Getting fairly low now. Front door is open and uh, the guy who's with me today has managed to open one of these pockets so that's exactly what it is, a nice little pocket for putting stuff in. I just love all the little details like the push button things, ashtray, slides out, obviously not a non-smoker's car. Once again we're looking down into one of these windows, long way down, some fresh rubber in there. And uh, I was going to get inside, but actually we should probably finish the outside first. So just looking down the side of the door, coming round. And you will see how those doors open up into the guard, so that's why we have that gap. side of the windscreen. Warrant. One of those rubberized aerials. And the other side of the thing that makes it go. I have to excuse the funny noises, that's my feet rubbing on the tires. So once again everything's looking nice and clean and tidy, just what you'd expect in here. Beautiful chrome, I love those fluted grills. I'm a big sucker for all this sort of stuff. Lovely headlights, leather chrome. So that's the outside of it. Let's have a look inside. Once again, just the slightest of wear in on the wood edge in here. So it's just lovely. Um, pre select for your gearbox here. Indicator, I'm assuming. I don't know what this is, but. Um, yeah, but the steering wheel looks good. I've just had a steering wheel like this on an old Austin. In fact, I could have probably stolen this one to replace it. And uh, it was nowhere near this good. Speedometer, look at that, 120 mile an hour. We know it doesn't get there, but it does very well for its age. Throttle, mixture. I'm not quite sure about that one, something I'm unfamiliar with. AC, blower, petrol, amp meter, clock, revs per minute. Uh, can't quite see what that one is on this angle. Heater, modern radio. Once again, we're back to the glove box. Headlining. Really nice. Nothing wrong with this. Sun visors, equally good. Let's fall down. Lovely arms at the top of them. And that I think will just about do for the actual car.